Again, good evening, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to Monks. Everybody welcome Adam Jackson on the drums. Yeah. <laughs> and the great Bruce Saunders on the guitar. Yeah. We'd like to start the night off with uh, one of the greatest living composers uh, in America, Benny Golson, with one of his tunes, uh, Whisper Not. So here we go.
Thank you guys very much. As I said, that was a song by Benny Golson, who is still with us, and he's uh, one of the great composers of jazz. And um, uh, he came down to my college when I was there. I got to play in like a big band where we backed him up, and it was really cool. He's the nicest guy in the world. If you've ever seen the Tom Hanks movie, The Terminal? Yeah, the whole, the whole plot of the movie was he came to see Benny Golson, right? Because he wanted to uh, see all the guys in the, uh, that picture, that famous old uh, jazz picture in Harlem. Um, anyway, we're going to play another jazz uh, classic for you guys by Thelonious Monk. Um, who remembers pandemic projects? Sourdoughs or... If you're a musician in the pandemic, you probably did a lot of remote recording, a lot of home recording and stuff like that. So this arrangement started off as a remote project with my friend, uh, drummer in New York. Um, and I've adapted it for a trio. And this is a lesser played Thelonious Monk song called Crepuscule with Nelly. Oh, wow. It's a deep cut. All right, nice. Um, <laughs> now, for bonus points, can someone tell me what a crepuscule is? Sometimes you hear it referred to as crepuscular light, but it refers to um, twilight, basically. Yeah. So it's basically, it's crepuscule with Nelly, it's a sunset with his wife. So we hope we didn't uh, take too much of the romance out of it, but we'll, <laughs> we'll do our best. So here is crepuscule with Nelly uh, with us.
a hand for Bruce Saunders, y'all. Come on. Come on. Does anyone know where, the, where trees are made of? Like the stuff of trees, where it comes from? Is it the dirt? It's a, I'll just tell you, it actually comes from the air. It's the carbon, you know, in the carbon cycle it happens, but the carbon from the air becomes the wood of the tree in this beautiful exchange. Anyway, I thought that was, was very nerdy, I know. I thought it was kind of a cool thing, though. We played these wooden instruments, and it's kind of like a reunion, right? It's like the wood is made of the oxygen, and then we kind of make the oxygen air dance with the wood again. I don't know. So it's kind of like a yearning to get back to, to where it came from. But um, anyway, so, <laughs> so that's what this song is about. It's uh, this inspired by the sound of wood, and it's called uh, Out of Thin Air.
Thank you all so much. Hey, Adam Jackson on the drum, y'all. Come on. This next tune, um, <laughs> how many of y'all are familiar with the concept of lucid dreaming? Yeah, okay, well, this is Austin, of course. Yeah, you're right. So, um, so you know, like a big part of it is, you know, you, you try to, you know, tell yourself you're dreaming by sometimes looking at a watch or, your, or some kind of digital device or something and you see that it doesn't work or it looks all screwed up or the light switch doesn't work like it's supposed to. Anyway, I was, I was inspired by that. Um, so this song is called uh, Circuits. So it's about those circuits going a little haywire when you get in your dream state. So uh, hopefully it's a little tranquil and then it gets a little, uh, we'll see what happens. All right. so enjoy, circuits.
Thank you guys so much. Uh, Colin, do you want to come up and say a few words? Absolutely. Sweet. One more time for Daniel Foos. Uh, thank you all again for coming to see this concert tonight, and thank all of you tuning in online. Uh, it's really a treat to be able to feature such amazing musicians as we have tonight, especially in an intimate trio setting. It's really great to hear everybody stretch out and play. But um, yeah, if uh, you'd like to see some more shows tomorrow night, we have a group coming out of uh, the Houston area, Adriano Santos. It'll be his second time coming back to Monks, featuring his Brazilian jazz uh, quartet. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's still a few tables left for that. And then usually about once a month, every six weeks or so, we collaborate with a local uh, crew called um, Austin Classical Jam. They go around to different coffee shops around town and different cool spots and sort of bring different classical musicians on stage, read through different stuff, and this is sort of their showcase in this um, you know, listening setting and live taping setting. Uh, they're gonna be uh, featuring a percussionist named Francis Favis, and there's you know, four or five other percussionists coming. There's gonna be two gigantic, you know, like 12 octave <laughs> marimbas and vibraphones and all this crazy percussion gear up here that's gonna be on Sunday night. But yeah, um, I would also like to mention, you know, Monks has been in operation for about seven years. We started in September of 2016 doing these pop-up listening room shows. And, you know, during the pandemic, we started streaming. You could consider this my pandemic project. <laughs> I think it's definitely taken some legs, and I appreciate all of you coming out to support. But uh, right now we have, I believe, 4,991 followers on our Instagram page. We're very close to 5,000. So... Um, all of you in the room, if you have an Instagram account, you know, after the show, you can pull your phones out and uh, please do go follow the Monks Jazz page and for everyone tuning in online as well, if you want to go to the uh, Monks Jazz page on Instagram and follow, we can reach that 5,000, uh, you know, landmark. But uh, in celebration of that, I've been working with a local designer. Um, we haven't, we did a very short run of t-shirts in 2017. We only made about 60 of them, but we'd never come back to it. And tomorrow we're launching a pre-sale with four new t-shirt designs so you can check out our website and you know it's going to be available on YouTube and all that and Twitch and everything so um, again onwards and upwards more jazz please do come back to support and uh, thank you again for coming uh, to the in-studio audience here tonight but if you're tuning in online please do go to the description there there's the Venmo and the PayPal handle and uh, you could support these fine musicians thank you Yeah, guys, y'all give it up for Colin Shook. I mean, this is really an amazing place. It's really become like an Austin institution, you know? It feels like a real, I mean, everyone from around the country comes here to play, and it's a real great listening room, and those are really hard to come by these days, so it's a really, it is a very special thing. So we're very, very thankful to have it here in Austin. Um, the next tune uh, is called Pike Tricks the Haint with Fire. I'm just gonna let you guys use your imaginations.
Thank you guys very much. Uh, for this next one, I'm going to do a, one by myself. Um, it's one you guys all know, I imagine. It's the Juan Tizal Duke Ellington Classic Caravan. Um, I want you to kind of think about a certain image. I'm, I was, you know, I, we just saw uh, Lawrence of Arabia. I don't know. But I was, uh, so imagine a real stark desert. You know, think about whatever desert you want to think about, and I'll think of whatever desert I want to think about. But it'll be stark. And then off in the dis distance, there's a, an oasis, but not that restaurant on Lake Travis, like an actual oasis. And then when we get there, it's going to be a party. So just get that in your mind, or erase it from your mind, and just enjoy. But uh, here's Caravan. Thank you, Ray.
Well, I'm sweating like I was in the desert, that's for sure. Uh, um, cool, yeah, this next song is called Monk's Mississippi Milk. Now, anybody know what Mississippi Milk is? My mama knows what Mississippi Milk is. And it doesn't have bourbon in it, Mom, no. <laughs> I was in Mississippi hanging out with my friend Monk, and he pointed over the cooler. He said, go over there, give me one of those Mississippi milks. I said, what the hell are you talking about? So I went over there, and I opened it up. And you know, in Mississippi, they only got two kinds of beers. I think we have some here tonight. It's either Bud Light or Bud Heavy. So Monk's Mississippi milk refers to the heavy variety. So I hope you enjoy our rendition of Monk's Mississippi milk. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Uh, this next song is on uh, my album that came out about five years ago of Water and Ghosts. Um, this song is called Blues for Jaybird. And um, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, yeah. I will say, you know, most people say, oh, I don't have a CD player anymore, blah, blah, blah. You know, but a lot of people might have a PlayStation 4 with a disk drive. <laughs> Goes right into your home system. Very, my man. Or often one in your car. It's, it's a great uh, road trip album, I've been told. Just putting it in there.
Thank you guys so much. We got one more quick one for you. Again, give it up for Adam Jackson on the drums. And Bruce Saunders on the guitar. I'd like to thank my mom for being here tonight. Thank you so much, mom. And my beautiful wife, Joni, thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for all the support. I love y'all. This last song is a little pop song for y'all, so feel free to clap along. In fact, the song is called The Clapper, so, you know, it's kind of it's kind of made for that. So, uh, enjoy. And uh, thank you guys so much for being out here tonight, and uh, thanks for supporting live music in Austin and supporting Monks, and hope to do it again. Thanks. Thank you. 
Thanks, everyone. Adam Jackson. Bruce Saunders. My name is Daniel Foose. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming out tonight. I, I realized that now there was like two whole extra chords to cue. It was good though. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh. That was a good place to end. I'm like, why is it? <laughs> yes, brother. Beautiful. <laughs>